Today, we will bake buns in various shapes, such as dove, chick or bunny rabbit. Traditionally, these buns are baked for Easter, but you can try this fun recipe at any time of the year. You will need half a kilogram of white bread flour, two heaped teaspoons of dried yeast, 80 grams of unsalted butter, 80 grams of caster sugar, 150 milliliters of single cream, 200 milliliters of milk, plus a few spoonfuls of milk to make the glaze, a pinch of salt, a few pinches of nutmeg, lemon peel for one third of a medium sized lemon, and two heaped teaspoons of honey. In this video, we will also use cloves when decorating the buns. Place the flour into a large bowl and add the dried yeast. Stir the yeast into the flour. Then, add sugar, milk and single cream. Finally, add butter. Add a pinch of salt. A few pinches of freshly grated nutmeg and freshly grated lemon peel. If you are not using a dough mixer, you might need to use your hands to work the butter into the dough. Cover the dough and leave in a warm place for at least an hour. Grease a baking tray with butter and dust your worktop lightly with flour. The dough will double in size while resting. Cut out dough balls using a spoon. If the dough sticks to the spoon, you can dip the spoon in flour. Use your hands to make the dough ball smooth. Then, roll the dough into a rope. You can have fun and experiment with different shapes. We will start with a long rope shape. Let's make a snail. We will need a short rope for making the body, and a long rope for making the coil. Use a spoon or a knife to split the dough into two pieces. Roll the dough a few more times, making the ropes even and smooth. Use scissors to cut the end of the short rope into two, to form the head of the snail. Form the long rope into a coil. And here is your snail. Next, let's make a dove. Start by making another long rope. Tie the rope into a simple knot. Pinch one end, using your fingers. This will be the head of the dove. Press on the other end to flatten the rope shape. This will be the tail. Cut the dough a few times with scissors, making it look like a tail of a dove. Place the dove onto the baking tray. To form eyes, press cloves into the head, close to the beak. And here is your dove. Next, how about a cute bunny rabbit? Start with a long rope as before. Cut off a small piece, or the head. The longer this piece is, the longer the ears will be. Snip the narrow part into two parts, to form the bunny ears. Slot in a clove, to form the eye.
Form the long piece of dough into a coil. Tuck the end under the coil to form the bunny tail. And here is your cute bunny. Let's make a chick. Start with a long rope again. Cut a small piece off for the wing. Roll the ends of the rope into swirls, making them meet in the center. Roll the rest of the dough into a ball. Cut the dough a few times to create a wing. Place the wing over the point where the swirls meet. Slot in a clove to create an eye. Pinch the dough to create a beak. Let's make a hen as well. Cut a small piece off for the wing. Form two swirls as when you were making a chicken. This time, create a small swirl on one end and a large one on the other end, making the head small and the body large. Adjust the swirls as needed, making the dough looking like a hen. Form the rest of the dough into a ball. Flatten the ball and cut it a few times to create the wing. Place the wing over the large swirl, making the feathers point down. Pinch the dough to create a beak. Slot in a clove to create an eye. And now, over to you. Which shape are you going to make next? How about making two swirls and shape them into a heart? Or form a ball and cut it many times, making a hedgehog? We will leave this up to you. Think of a few other shapes and have fun experimenting with the dough. Once you finish shaping the dough, brush all your creations with milk. Next, you will need to preheat the oven to 190 degrees Celsius and bake the buns for approximately 15 minutes or until they are golden brown. While the buns are baking, add a few spoonfuls of honey to the milk that is left over. The more you add, the sweeter the buns will be. The buns need to be brushed with milk and honey while they are still hot. Let the buns cool off just a little bit before brushing them with milk and honey. Hopefully, all shapes look perfect, but if they don't, don't worry, the buns will be just as tasty, even if the shape is slightly distorted. Brush each bun with milk and honey. This will make them all nice and shiny. And what's more, it will make the buns truly delicious. Once the buns cool off, you can serve them with butter and honey.